Okay, so this is the uh, clutch removed from the air compressor and trying to remove it. There is the one bolt <clears throat> through here. It's just a um, hex head, I should say, bolt. Pretty short. Um, came out very easily. Here's the puller kit. This puller kit from Auto or Dance doesn't actually work with the 2005 Impreza. Um, none of these heads in here thread into that diameter that I showed you. It's a, uh, here's the diameter I bought another bolt. It's a six, um, M6 by one by, and this one's 40 inches long. So that way I could, use that and back out the um, clutch, which is right here. Supply shaft, see there's no holes to back out and use like you see in other videos. Um, this is riveted in here and these heads here um, are also fastened in so you have no way to to use the three bolt system and pull that off. Um, so behind here was four thin little washers, the shims, and it's four thousandths. And so that was unexpected. I thought I would have one, one giant one and I have to replace that shim with another smaller one. But there's actually four of them in here. Um, the Initially, this was, uh, it was the spec is at the upper limit of this 24 and mine was in uh, almost I don't know five or fifty thousandths more than that and the spec is right here so it's in millimeters or in inches 17 thousandths plus or minus uh, 59 so it takes it to 118 or 236 I was at mm, two, eight, you know, two eight five, <clears throat> using different sets of feeler gauges and stacking them up inside the clutch. So I'm going to remove a shim and then uh, put it back together. And uh, this is the the easiest way I found to take this clutch plate off was to spray in some penetrating fluid and then use that this bolt and I put a uh, a socket or a nut over it that was greater than diameter of here but still allowed it to pull itself off so you can find a, a bolt m6 by 1 by 40 or somewhere anywhere longer than that 30 works if you have a short gap to fill hope that helps